good evening everybody today we are discussing about accounts we have a class related to accounts this accounting is severely related to three type of three category of syllabus we are today we are discussing number one is for state syllabus students number two for cbse students and number three for igcse students today this class is completely for those who are studying the state syllabus and one more thing we can say is that this uh, uh, class will be very helpful for the commerce background students and even old age students those who have more experience in accounts or they don't they want to study the accounting systems what is accounting all the informations they want to do that one so it will be very helpful for all type of people so very simply and logically understand the points and if you have any doubt or anything else suggestions you can uh, suggest through my youtube channel you can do that one okay so today we are starting about just a, a brief introduction about accounting so the first point is why this accounting is a started the difference we can say is that all other subjects for example mathematics physics chemistry we can say science subjects completely we are studying the basic areas we are studying in the smaller classes for example 8th 9th 10th we are studying all these areas therefore we know the basic concepts and some advanced area also you know that one the the coming uh, graduation classes or the plus and plus two level classes uh, we are studying little more uh, vast or advanced areas here this accounting is a new subject for the plus 1 plus 2 students because they don't have any background in the basic uh, basic areas in the 8th or 9th or 10th classes so it will be very simple and uh, only required thing the most important things for like any other subjects we required more concentration because we are dealing with the figures and we are dealing with the volume of the transactions therefore concentration patience memory three important factors if you are okay we can study accounts very very well so today we are coming to the point what is the evolution or the introduction of accounting why accounting came into force that is the first point we have to understand from this one you know that in olden we are going back our olden age go back to the olden age then we came to know that one there will be most of the business will be 80 percentage of the business will be very simple and we can see volume of the transaction is limited only but system 20th century and after 19th century we can say is that multinational companies simply we can say trade industry commerce everything developed a large and we can say multinational companies are now due to the development of all these things uh, we know that accounting becomes one of the most important part of the uh business nowadays because the revenue of the government one of the most important revenue of the government is tax so the tax collection the required proper accounting system is required that one mm -hmm. that is why we are starting with the accounts so the accounting we are going back to the olden age there will there will be volume of the transactions are very limited one but now the system totally change all are developed that we can say trade industry commerce everything developed due to the development of all these things what will happen the volume of transactions also increased therefore we can see volume of the transaction is the most important in every business some small organizations medium level organizations large scale organizations are there medium level or large small level we can say only limited level limited people or limited volume of the transactions only we can see so the olden days the people no need a proper accounting system because they can remember what are their sales cash sales is how much credit sales is how much and the purchase and supplier and the customer all the details are in their minds but now it is entirely different i told you the trade industry commerce everything developed due to the multinational companies of evolution of the multinational companies 
the accounting becomes most important a part of the world nowadays accounting is not required for studying purpose but also it is required for a good family life good budgeting good income and expenditure what will be your income and what will be your expenditure for all these things if you have a if you have a number of investment proposals in front of you before investing you can evaluate which one is more beneficial which one is not beneficial therefore every where we need accounting not only commerce students but also other students also required a minimum knowledge about this accounting due to the volume of the transaction we are again came to that point volume of the transaction is increased due to the volume of the transaction increased what will happen a normal businessman or a, or an or an office position staff cannot memorize all of the transactions will happen or generated in a business on a particular day or month or yearly wise but nowadays you know that auditing is also a mandatory for a mandatory for the companies to do the auditing we have audit standard audit agencies are there for getting loans for uh, for granting credit everything we need uh, audit also therefore accounting becomes more accurate and the most confidential and the most important one therefore due to the volume of the transaction what will happen the a layman or a small business organized man or a large man cannot remember what are going in a business organization what is the sales what is the purchase all these things he cannot memorize that is the starting point of accounting therefore we can say that accounting came into practice as a need to human memory that is the very important this accounting is helpful for the human memory for what for recording daily transactions in the books of account we need a memory what are the transactions what are the point what are the invoices everything we need to know that one so the first point of accounting is accounting came into practice as an aid to human memory our accounting system is modern accounting system is known as the language of a business language is mainly used for communication purposes you know you want to know the profitability of an organization you want to know the income of the organization you want to know the expenses of the organization you need a proper accounting system is there therefore each company's performance measurement point is accounting we can check the accounting we will get a clear picture about what will be the result or what will be the profitability what will be the situation of a company or an organization we can understand from that one company partnership and sole proprietorship different types of organizations are in the market now all the organizations are required this accounting system if a sole trader or a partnership firm or a company all required accounting therefore modern accounting is often regarded as the language of a business language is mainly used for communication purpose that means the business activities we are communicated through accounts to the people that means the outside people that is the important another point our accounting system is known as double entry system of accounting double entry system of accounting double entry system of accounting means each transaction there is a two aspect is there one is the receiving aspect and second one is the giving aspect for example you are going to purchase a pen from a shop you are receiving a pen and you are giving cash this is the two fold one is the receiving and the second one is the giving this receiving and the giving is known as double entry system of accounting this double entry system of accounting was developed by an italian merchant known as luca pascioli in the year 1494 this is the introduction about accounting a small introduction just going to understand or we are trying to understand the important points of the accounting if somebody is coming what is accounting the people are saying accounting is a difficult one so many calculations so many things are there exactly a layman wants to know what is accounting accounting simply means recording daily transactions in the books of account for various purposes this is the simple meaning of accounting accounting simply means recording 
daily transactions in the books of account for various purposes but internationally accepted worldwide definition for account is given by american institute of certified public accountants a i c p a they are it is internationally accepted definition for the accounting they are the main definition given for accounting it covers all the points of accounting accounting is a science accounting is an art why science because a group of knowledge are there you have the knowledge you know you don't know how to apply that one you should know how to apply that one that is why it is known as an art therefore accounting is a science and art of recording classifying and summarizing of transactions look recording you want to record the transactions you want to classify the transactions you want to summarize the transactions recording classifying summarizing of the transactions in a significant manner in a significant manner all the transactions you check all the transactions in the books of account are related to monetary terms only money we can measured in terms of money only finally what we are doing we are interpreting the result of that this is the three important points in related to that definition given by american institute of certified public accountants american institute of certified public accounts accounting is an art of recording classifying and summarizing of transactions in a significant manner all the transactions and events are at least of financial character and interpretation or interpreting the result thereof these three points constitute the total meaning of accounting that is given by american institute of certified public account the first point we can say accounting is a science or art of recording you want to record the transactions you want to classify if income or expense or asset or liability then you have to summarize income will be one asset will be one liability will be one that's why accounting is a science and art of recording classifying and summarizing of transactions in a significant manner all the transactions and events are at least of financial character and finally we are interpreting the result there whatever the point we discussed for your noting point purpose i mentioned here important points look accounting is an aid to human memory it is an aid to human memory human memory why human memory because the volume of the transaction is the point more and more volume of the transaction is coming human memory is very important the language of the business i told you modern accounting is often regarded as the language of a business language is mainly used for communication purpose because business activities are communicated through by which accounts the last and third point is our accounting system is known as double entry system of accounting double entry means what each and every transaction has two aspect one is the receiving aspect and the second one is the giving aspect these three important points are constitute the introduction of definition introduction of the accounting and the second one is definition we already discussed that point the definition given by american institute of certified public accountant is there we already discussed that one again for your understanding purpose i am writing the definition given by the american institute of certified public accountant accounting is an art of recording art of recording classifying art of recording classifying summarizing summarizing recording classifying and summarizing the volume of summarizing the transactions look the first definition points accounting is an art of recording classifying and summarizing of transactions in which manner in a significant manner in a significant manner in a significant manner in a significant manner point number 2 again says what is that one transaction you check any transaction in accounting we can see 
transactions transactions and events which are at least of financial character which are at least at least of financial character financial character and the third point we are doing what interpreting the result thereof interpretation of the result interpreting interpretation of the result interpreting interpreting the result interpreting the result this is the definition briefly we can say it is given by american institute of certified public accountants is aicp this is the introduction about accounting firstly you just to go through these points then we can come back to the next continuation area okay thank you